We're getting near the end of the course, and it's time to take a look at how we pull all this together. And I want to talk about lab reports. And before I show you, you're looking at my Drive folder, but before I show you how to do this in Drive, because this is a Google course, I'm going to show you something in Evernote. This is one of my students' um, lab notebooks in Evernote. And what you'll see is that there are a bunch of labs, each one of them numbered, and they're listed in here. And if I were to go into a particular lab, you'll see that there's text and pictures and graphs and all kinds of information. Uh, sometimes the students take pictures and they load them in here. And so for me, I use Evernote as sort of the warehouse for a lab. But how could we do that in Drive, which I think would be a great option for students. And so I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Lab Notebook. And then what a student would do is they would share their lab notebook to you, okay? And so that would be involved in sharing that folder right out to you. Now, what will we do in here? Well, what I would have my students do is create a new folder. And again, this would be lab 01, my first lab. And then what they'll be able to do is they'll be able to create that lab notebook and go inside and use all of the tools in here. So they can put in a document that might have their, their research or their paper or their summary. They can have presentation files in here. They can have um, spreadsheets in here. All the things that they may need to uh, do their work will be available in here. And I want to point out that you can... Um, add video directly from um, from the Drive app on a mobile device. And so I'm just doing a quick search here and um, I'm looking for a picture and this will serve my purpose. If you click on the little plus sign in the iOS app, it allows you to use the camera or upload a video or photo and you can select the direct folder. So if a kid is using an iPad or an iPhone or an Android device, they can um, upload the images and they'll load right into this lab notebook folder. And so when I go to grade it, what I'll be looking for are all the pieces that they will have compiled for that particular lab. And I might have them do a, a, a report out as a presentation or some other file. Maybe it turns out to be a video or something like that. But everything gets loaded in here. And it's all under their lab notebook file. And then what I would do is under my drive folder is I would create uh, a folder for their work. And you can see I've, I have two periods here. And then I have all of my students listed in here. And this is their final work. And all these folders are shared out to me. So I do this at the beginning of the year so that then the students can start to put their work in here. So this is a little bit different than using Google Classroom because the students will have so many different pieces that they'll be storing things in that I want to be able to see the full extent of their work. So um, you can see, again, if I go back to Evernote, like what are the pieces of the puzzle that go into this. So there's text and again there's tables and there's graphs and all types of things that can go into the lab notebook and that's what we really want from our students is to, that they'll be using a digital curated lab notebook.